So that's a, that's a good question. Before I first time came here to the Philippines, I, uh, because my background is really linguistics, I study how does a learner can learn a foreign language in an effective way. So I, we did a lot of research and studies. And we got to know that you know, there are many Japanese and Korean people that came here to learn English. So I got, I got this business idea. So I came here to do the, to do the, the, the how do you say, the ground research. And I, I, I gather a lot of data and I, I get to know uh, people here. And I really find their Filipino people, the good English talents, they're really qualified and very suitable to teach our Chinese English learners English language. So um, I, know, I, I know this kind of English language acquisition mechanism. And I think the teacher, even compared with native speakers, the, the, the Americans and the UK people, I think Filipino teachers, they're more suitable to teach Chinese students because there are many Chinese students, they're still beginner and elementary level students. They, they, they cannot really you know, speak out, they're still at the beginner level. But our teachers here, they're very patient in terms of dealing with students because I know the service industry is very developed here. And the second, the, the, the Filipino teachers, they're very patient and nice to guide the student with their um, proper uh, speed, uh, speaking speed. That's the second point. The third point is, I really find the, 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 English, the population of English talents here is very huge. Yeah. I find the market is here. Yeah, currently we have around 2,000 home-based teachers in different cities all around the Philippines. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Laurel and I'm a blogger. My question is how one can uh, become a freelance of 514 and is there any training or investment involved in yeah, okay, thanks for that question. So uh, basically our, our application requirement is as long as this applicant can have a good command of English language and with good internet, internet connection at home, he can apply for uh, our, our uh, home-based teacher position. And uh, how we are going to train him, yes, we have developed a lot of training programs and we have a lot of investments in the teacher trainings. Because for you to become a, a very good teacher, a qualified teacher, you need to experience a series um, of trainings from a beginner teacher, uh, to a junior teacher, to a senior teacher, and then to a head teacher. So yes, we are working very hard on this kind of teacher development and training programs. Uh, for the demographics of your students, are they mostly uh, students or is it also a mix of workers who are interested in learning English? Yes. So um, in China, because we are doing, um, our lesson is really online, we are doing, we are, we are really disrupt, um, disrupting the traditional English learning classroom business models. We are doing this online education business model. So no matter that the, our students are from Shanghai, from you know, Guangdong, from even Tibet, mm -hmm. they, can, they can connect online to learn English. And our students, the, 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 the demographics, um, half of our students, they are, they are working professionals. Mm -hmm. They are white colors. They're already working in, in companies. And uh, the other students, they, they are from university students, and there are uh, quite Primary, primary school students and high school students. It's actually uh, different. So all the ages, as long as they can connect to internet and they can afford our package, yeah, they can learn with our teachers. For, for the students, how long does one program take? Does it take about month or does it take years for, let's say, an English program? Yeah. So our, our packages, we have different kinds of package. The shortest uh, package is six months. You need to buy six months package. And we have one year and then two year package. Okay. So uh, basically we have a study consultant team. 
who will give them advice, uh, who will give them very specific learning plan um, to analyze their learning needs and to, to provide them a package that's six months or one year or two years and we, we, what kind of textbooks they need to learn, we will, we will advise them a suitable package to the students. following uh, the American English or British English and is uh, what is the focus of the program? Is it for oral and written or both? Uh, later for the follow questions. Okay. So these two questions. The first one is um, um, is our English more popular um, than our British. I think the, what I noticed here is our Filipino teachers, they are more on neutral accents, and some of them, they are um, American accents. Very, t very few teachers, they are following British accent. I think that the American accent is, is what is popular in China also. Many Chinese students, they want to learn American accent. I think that's the value of our teachers here. Uh, um, I'll, I'll, uh, my question is around related to uh, the language. Uh, if, if, if you're following uh, American English or British, um, American, not, not the accent. Yeah, I think relatively speaking, it's more on the American English. Yeah, that's more, yeah, that's most of our students, they want to learn. And then, um, with regard to uh, the communication skills, is it written or both? Uh, yeah, so in, in terms of the, what are students learning is, um, we have two kinds of main courses. One is, we call it general English, including all the four language skills, speaking, reading, writing, and reading. And then the, the second main course is English for special purpose. One is for exam, examinations like IELTS and TOEFL, TOEIC. The other one is for business and interview English. So students, they have their own choice to choose what kind of course they prefer based on uh, based on their own learning needs. For um, the programs that you have mentioned, uh, what uh, are you following a particular curriculum uh, or a particular program based in the U.S.? Um, yeah, so first one, we have a very strong curriculum development team, both located in Beijing and Manila. So we have our own uh, ESL experts and education experts in, um, you know, focusing on the curriculum development. And in terms of what, what you are saying uh, on, uh, are you using um, different types of the, uh, books or are following just a specific uh, program, uh, English program uh, from the U.S. From the U.S. Uh, or from China. Uh, basically, what we are doing is we design the English courses and textbooks on uh, our own, you know, we have our own curriculum development methodology. And then, of course, we adjust to our Chinese students' learning habits. Yeah. For, the, for, um, for those who are applying as uh, educators, uh, what kind of uh, training programs are you providing? Yes, that, that's a very good question. So when a new applicant applies uh, here, and if they can pass the interview, we will start our new teacher training program, uh, which which lasts several days. And then we will give them, you know, introduction about Chinese culture, Chinese students, and we will um, give them orientations about our curriculum, how, and their professionalism, how uh, that's how they will teach here. And then we will teach them communication skills, language skills, and uh, the teaching skills. And then once the teacher uh, starts to teach, so every month, in his first month, second month, and the following six months, and even one year, we have different training programs with different kind of training topics, which targets more on students' concerns and to help teachers to develop more on their teaching skills. Thank you. Thank you. Hope I adjust your uh, question. Uh, teacher. Teacher. 
additional question. Um, since you have ambassadors, Sir Jim, Michelle, and De uh, Delamar, so uh, what is their role and why did you choose them as the ambassadors of 5 One Talk? Okay. So um, actually, it's our first time to to you know to have this honor to have three um, ambassadors for 5 One Talk Philippines. And since because we are we are going really fast and we are uh, very aggressive in occupying the, the, the market here in the Philippines in hiring in terms of hiring in good English talents here. So because our two thousand teachers still come from different backgrounds, mm -hmm. most of them not, not most of them um, some of them are from call center industry, some are from you know nursing industries, and some from uh, the college background. So uh, we we need to target. Uh, let's say, thinking of our following, the, the following, uh, several following years, you know, very fast growing expansion um, uh, plans that uh, it's, we, we need to target different, you know, how do you say, working, working population markets. So that, that's the reason, you know, we, 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 we would like to, to partner with three different kinds of ambassadors with us so we can approach our potential uh, teacher market better and we can really you know occupy this market to support our growth here Actually, what we are doing is for our general English um, learning package. Instead of you know, you need to take the exam and to get a certificate. This is basically what we are not doing. We, we are we are really um, more focusing on improving the students' um, English communication skills with foreigners. It's more practical. Yeah, we are, we are more focusing on the practical English. Did they apply to the company so that they acknowledge them? That they had an uh, education degree uh, as, as a bonus for their personal promotion to a company. Uh, you mean in, in companies? Yes, in yes. Companies. They recognize you are uh, training uh, as a plus for you know the resume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, this is this is a uh, one of our plans in the future. Yeah, because you know more and more if more and more Chinese students are already taking our courses, and we also have some corporate clients. Who are recognizing us? So that, yeah, that's the plan. So the question is, how do we evaluate yeah. the teachers' the performance. performance? Okay. So that's a uh, um, because we have over uh, 50,000 uh, students in China who are learning with our teachers. So um, every day we are gathering a very big amount of students' feedbacks on, students, uh, on our teachers. So once the lesson finish, finished, the student will submit um, an evaluation form for each teacher for each lesson. So this is how we know um, how, how the teacher was performing and our standards team they will work on those um, you know evaluations and some bad evaluations uh, and then we will have our own coaching system and then uh, we have our own training system to work on those students feedbacks we as a as an online internet education company we really emphasize a lot on students feedbacks this is very important because this um, this really relates to the word of mouth of our service 
and the word of mouth of you know of the company, the brand image. So we really emphasize a lot on students' feedbacks, and based on students' feedbacks, our our own team will work on teachers' performances, and those teachers' performances is they are very strictly being monitored by our own team internally. Yeah. Do you also give incentives for those who perform and what happens to those who underperform? Hey, <laughs> 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 complicated. Yes, for teachers, yes. <laughs> Of course, uh, if teacher they want to teach here, right? If they want to earn, you know, uh, earn living, they want to earn enough money for themselves. They have to meet our standards. So, uh, if, for example, if there's a um, there's a teacher who is not meeting our standards, we have our coaching sessions. And then, um, yes, th there are some um, incentive um, schemes. You know, because we need to motivate our teachers and to 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 motivate them to. Be better performance. Yeah. To not perform well, we have we have our own team, you know, to, to support them. First, we will distinguish what kind of uh, what kind of difficulty this teacher is facing, right? Maybe it's about pronunciation. Maybe it's about teaching skills. Maybe it's about the internet connection. So we have different uh, you know action plans to to. To deal with those opportunities. They're not fired.